Tomorrow night, it's going to be a mission to space packed with firsts from the orbit to the science to the splashdown. New 60s Terrell Baker has more on this latest private astronaut mission bought by a Chinese cryptocurrency billionaire, Jarrell. Yeah, that's right, Eric. It's going to be out of this world. Had to get a little <laughs> cheesy there, but, you know, it's fun time. And also, it's going to be a short trip. It'll feature over a dozen experiments, and it could be the first major step in creating food in space. Monday is set to be one of the most historic days in space exploration history. SpaceX is launching a mission called Fram 2, the first ever crewed flight to go into a polar orbit. This mission is unprecedented. We'll have views of the poles that we've never seen before. Unique science, too, and other things related to polar research. That means for three to five days, the crew will get views of the North and South Poles that even astronauts on the International Space Station can't fully see. The mission is named after the famous Fram ship, which took Norwegian explorers to the Arctic and Antarctic more than 100 years ago. The crew features four people led by crypto billionaire Chung Wang. He's also funding the whole thing. See there, that's the mycelium, so the organism where mushrooms grow. And we've done a cut, so you can see there's a cut there. And then the mushrooms, that's where they will grow out towards where there's oxygen. They'll be looking for the oxygen and coming out of both sides. We'll prepare it. Send, you know, send it to be put on the rocket and then we'll anxiously await and three and a half days later it will splash down and we'll open it up and see what it looks like. Did it grow? There's a science experiment on board called Mission Mushroom where researchers are trying to grow oyster mushrooms in space for the first time. They're extremely nutritionally rich so they have nutrients found across the food groups. They have this amazing ability just like we do to make vitamin D when exposed to UV light. So you put mushrooms in the sun, just about 15 minutes, they will produce the same amount of vitamin D as what's in a supplement that's given to astronauts. The goal is to see if there could be a reliable food source for astronauts on long trips to the moon or Mars. No one really knows how these mushrooms will react to microgravity, so this will be a big first step. Now, Fram's crew will be running 22 different research projects. One of them involves testing how well astronauts can exercise in space using special bands that restrict blood flow to make workouts more effective. Hopefully they can teach me some tips. Eric. Yeah, and as we've seen many times, astronauts coming back to Earth after a while in space, they have to readjust. They can't walk. It takes months. Jarrell Baker, very interesting. Thanks. We're going to be following that launch tomorrow night.